They came from a place of love and love resonates. If the kids feel that authentic love, if they feel you are being present with them, you'll be able to make that connection. It's a really big celebratory event um, to have here in Akwazasni and to actually meet them in person if people haven't met them before, um, to talk with them, engage with them and, and just learn about the work that they're doing and also of course take a look at the book that they've written as well. I think it was important because the book does showcase things that are concerns um, within the territory as far as how do we address you know certain issues and problems and like how are we able to to help it with the things that they do in their organization. Plus, also the organization created a sister branch here a couple years ago, HLF Akwesasne, and that's also in the book. The book is basically about how we began our organization, the Holistic Life Foundation, and then also techniques for individuals themselves to start their own practice and start using these tools and techniques to help them deal with their own stressors, their trauma, their anxiety. In the book we talk a lot about involution and like the way to change the world is to change your inner world and change yourself first. So I think um, stories and practices for people to kind of um, connect to their light. I mean, the book's called Let Your Light Shine, so we want people to connect to like their universal light and let it shine out in the world. Um, and I think that's what we really want to do. And also like get people inspired to also share these practices uh, with as many people as possible once they, they get them down for themselves. First of all, we encouraged trauma-informed approaches uh, several years ago within, within the tribal organization, and many of our programs have taken that very seriously. So our education department took Holistic Life Foundation under their wings, and so we encouraged that with, within our own programs and staff. And then uh, monetarily, we help um, support the program so that they can train uh, community members in meditation, mindfulness, yoga, skills that they can use for themselves and their family. And, and it's just been spreading since then. So I believe it's a great investment, a worthwhile investment in our own people.